What's going on clan? AD here. Welcome back to more Kenshi Savage Lands, a highly modded series to make the game as difficult as possible. If you didn't see the previous episode, we sent an exploration squad out to find some new recruits, uh, which we have here, and they made it safely back to the Dragon's Den. So we're going to have to outfit these guys uh, with some better gear and get them training up. But uh, we had uh, a, uh, our last base assaulted, and we had a lot of uh, Dragon Clan members lose their lives, so we had to kind of replenish our forces a little bit. And so we're still trying to build up our base and, uh, and reestablish ourselves as uh, a dominant force in the, uh, in the land. So in this episode, what I want to do is continue building out the Dragon's Den a little bit. I want to try to get all these towers and uh, buildings up. I also want to work on building a prisoner uh, building so that we can start capturing prisoners. And uh, we can also probably recruit some uh, bandits that way uh, if we need new recruits as well. But we can also do some training with them. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be fun. And then of course we'll see what other trouble we can get into. So if you guys want to see more Kinchi in the future, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. I've also installed two new mods. One is Combat Animations Extended, which adds new animations to all the characters with different weapons. So that's going to be good. That actually goes on top of the uh, military craft animation. So we'll have a big variety of animations for combat, which is fantastic. I also installed Legendary Weapons, uh, which is another mod that uh, adds all these different legendary weapons to characters that I think we can... We have to take out specific people to, to get these weapons. Um, I'll, ha I'll have to read up on the mod a little bit more, but it sounds pretty pretty cool. So uh, those are two mods that you guys suggested, and I went ahead and got those installed. You can take a look at the description below to see all of the um, all of the mods that I'm using for this series, and I keep adding new mods as we continue on. I'd also like to give a shout out to Siros and Johan for becoming patreon members really appreciate your support guys thank you very much all right we got a prayer day on the way to dragon's den and one of my subscribers suggested hey why don't you build a little box out here so that you can put your little prayer day book uh the holy flame in it hey that's a good idea let's go ahead and do that all right i placed out two chests out here let's see if we can get these built really quick um but yeah we got another prayer day coming and uh the holy nation doesn't really care about us as long as we do the uh the prayer and as long as they don't see any hivers or shek i think they won't attack us so uh, we should be able to just kind of keep them at bay for now let's see these guys are coming from the south all right jeebus why don't you come over here and build these boxes let's see i'm gonna need some building materials or actually cyrus why don't you come and do it Okay, nice. We've got two little storage chests there. We could put other stuff in there too that we uh, that we want. Um, yeah, as soon as we get this prayer day done, uh, we're gonna start building up, uh, trying to build a prison area. We've got Jeebus over here doing farming. We've got to get uh, some more farms built. Uh, we do have a small one here. Um, we'll be able to get a couple more. We're going to need like three cactus farms extra large and that'll give us enough cactus output to make tons of food. Uh, we probably don't need as much wheat and, uh, and uh, we might need a couple hemp farms, but cactus is probably the most important thing right now. Prayer day has arrived. Let's go ahead and just talk to these guys, get rid of them. Today is a glorious day. Uh, yeah, we've heard that before. You know, it'd be funny is if they actually change the uh, the order in which the dialogue appears, so that when you're like fast forwarding through it and you just keep clicking like uh, the top option, like they switched it up on you and it would be like uh, one of the other options instead, so that you kind of like mess up. So you actually have to like look at what the text is every time you read the prayer day. That would be hilarious. Oh yeah, you can see these new combat animations. In play. Oh, there went an arm. <laughs> okay, all right. We got the prayer day gone. So now let's uh, let's focus on outfitting our people here. That's the next thing. We got to get everybody some new equipment. 
So, uh, let's see. I think we have a couple weapons and stuff up here. Let's just see if I can outfit some of these guys. At least our new recruits. Alright, I've outfitted our uh, new recruits with uh, some bandit gear and whatever armor I could give them. Um, gave them some shirts. Actually, Glitch needs a shirt. And Kel needs a shirt. Um, we're going to make Kel and Toxic Iron martial artists. Uh, I don't think I've ever tried to do a Hiver martial artist before, so I think that'd be fun. So we'll have Toxic Iron and Kel uh, go for martial arts and have them try and work on that. Um, let's see, I need to give uh, Kel and Glitch uh, some shirts really quick. Let's see, here we go. Let's just give them a high grade leather shirt, that'll give them extra protection. There we go. Good. Okay. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is get our new recruits as a guard out here. Because when we get attacked by bandits, I want these guys getting trained up. So, let's see. we got enough people out here with med kits. I'm out here. Aiden's out. Actually, let me give Aiden a med kit. And, uh... Maybe a splint kit, too. Okay. And, oh, Aiden needs a better weapon. Now that I think about it. So, I'm going to place down some more uh, guard posts so that we have enough around the area. Okay, I think we have enough. Okay, we've got our new recruits outside. We've got a lot of guards, so that's great. Let's go ahead and put the Holy Flame book in here. Nice. Okay, so that frees up some inventory space. Let me actually give a couple people some med kits. Damn, we're gonna need to get more med kits too. I think actually does Drazzy or Aldio have some? Oh yeah. Come here. Come here, Drazzy. You got a ton of med kits on you. We gotta hook everybody up real quick. Okay, everybody's got uh med kits, so we're good for our defense out here. Everybody should be able to heal themselves up. So, that's good. Let's go ahead and close the gates. Okay, now that we got that done, um, next thing we need to do is... Okay, we got Cyrus up here getting this done, this building. Okay, we got decent room in here. So, this will be good for training. Okay. Let's have him keep going on that. Uh, let's see, we got Arrow up here. Uh, making iron plates. Uh, let's see. We got plenty of copper right now. We need to get this research bench up, which is uh, 30 iron plates. I had it on pause, but now we can get that going. So Jeebus is currently doing cactus. Okay. Okay, well, while Sirius is building up this building, I think we need to place down a, uh, a nice prison. I've placed down our new prison right here. This thing is going to be awesome once we get it complete gonna take a little while but uh yeah this is gonna look really nice we're gonna put all our prisoners in here um and that's gonna look great uh, i like doing unique buildings for um for various things we're also gonna place down the thunder dome eventually um but uh it's a really large building so we're gonna have to place it outside of uh dragon's den but the thunder dome is going to return we're getting attacked over here by uh, hungry bandits. These guys just kind of snuck up on us. Wow, there's a lot of them too. Okay, let's do it. Uh, oh, Aiden is down already. Uh, Kel is down. Aston is hurting. Oh boy. Forest. All our new recruits are down. Oh shit. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> we need everybody in here. Attack all guys. Get in there. All right, everybody get off hold. Toasty, Coral, get in there. I'm over here fighting. A bunch of guys. Jude is still up. Uh, we got people critical here. Critical. Damn. Where's, uh, where's Aston? I have no idea. I can't see him. Oh, there he is. 
All right, hold on a second. We got... All right, take these guys down. Oh, did you see that guy? Chris Fall just knocked him down. Oh, he's crawling. Oh, that was sweet. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just keep an eye on our new recruits here. All right, Kel is in trouble here. Uh, crestfallen, get to Kel. Cannon, uh, let's get to Kel too. And who else? Glitch is okay. Uh, oh, Forrest is going to need help. All right. Yep, get to Watson. Where's Forrest? Okay, there he is. Well done, men. Wow. These guys came out of nowhere. I didn't even see them. Uh, so, I didn't get the beginning part of the battle. Oh, I got knocked out. Jeez, these hungry bandits are coming in force, too. There's so many. Well, we're going to get everybody's strength and toughness up by fighting all our new recruits. We finally finished the research bench 5. That thing took 30 iron plates, so good that we got that up. Um, let's see, we also got our prison up. Uh, it took me a minute to get the positioning correct, but now we've got it kind of level here. It was actually on a slope, and it looked really weird. So if we go in here, I think the pathfinding works. So we should be able to go in, and yeah, we can. I think we'll be able to place all kinds of stuff, tons of different cages. So I think we'll get started on that, so we can uh, start storing some prisoners. All right, I uh, went and placed down some prisoner cages up here. As you can see, I put some partitions to kind of separate them a little bit. So we got uh, plenty of cages. Um, oh wait, what happened to that cage? There we go. I don't know what happened to that one. Um, so yeah, now we can get these built. These are going to take a ton of iron plates, but, uh, I got some lights placed as well. And we got two spots for guards, so we can put some guards up here. Um, this is good. And then on the bottom floor, we could put even more prisons, uh, or something else down there. I don't know if you have any suggestions, let me know. But, uh, we're going to need... Yeah, Cyril's is just going to get started on that. We also need to get some training dummies up. Okay, we've got some assassin training dummies, uh, just regular training dummies, thief boxes, uh, lock picking boxes, and then we have uh, training turrets up top. So we'll get those crafted, or uh, not crafted, built. And let's see, one, two, three, four, yep, yeah, all different kinds. Uh, let's see, some of these take leather, which we have plenty of leather. These take iron plates, no big deal. Uh, we have MK2 and MK3 on some of these. And something takes a cup, yeah. Uh, the thief training boxes. Actually, we should upgrade those. Okay, yeah, so we need, uh, steel bars, steel spring, hinge, iron plates, and all of that to get those training boxes and these thief boxes we have uh we're gonna need oh yeah pearl vase pearl cup and so forth i'm just gonna try to make the the highest level possible we're gonna have to go out and get some of those things so that'll give us uh something to uh to try and do later uh, but i do want to get those placed so i think maybe just one building will be good for training we might need to build another one when we do the advanced training dummies, um, when we're building up our militia uh, for later on, when we try to take down some of the world bosses, but I think for now, uh, that'll be good. I want to get these towers up. Forest is in recovery coma. We gotta get... Yeah, we need these towers up so we can put some beds in here. Uh, I'll just let Forest be for now. I feel like everybody's healing pretty naturally. Kel is knocked out in a recovery coma. But, yeah, seems like everybody's, but like the, the attacks are kind of spread out. These new combat animations are awesome, I gotta say. Wow. There's like all kinds of rolling and flipping and stuff, that's great. Uh, we're gonna have to go out with a group and like, Get some combat in so we can see. Oh, we got some camps over here to the uh, southeast. So maybe we can fight these dust bandits with our new recruits too. 
Um, I've got Ciros up here getting all of the prisons done. Uh, prisoner cages. So once we get enough of those built... These things just take forever to build. Um, but we sh he should have enough done uh, by the time we get some prisoners. Uh, I guess we probably could have taken this guy here. He's dying right now, Dust Bandit. All right. Well, we can take we can take him, I guess. First date him. Oh, we got more bandits coming in. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just crush that guy. Zero damage bolt shot. Oh, look at that roll. That's sweet. Oh, he's down. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. They get knocked down and everything. Wow. This is going to be fantastic when we start having big battles. Can't wait to see it. Like, everybody doing these crazy new animations. Whoa. That's wild. This, oh, this guy's got 30... Oh, Dust Bandit boss. Let's get him. Come here. First state him. Oh, we're totally getting this guy. Alright, pick him up. We're gonna take him. Toxic is down, but he'll get back up shortly. Um, let's see. Let's have... Aston grab one of these guys. I think he's healed too, yeah. Aston, why don't you pick up this guy? There we go. Get ourselves two prisoners for now. More bandits coming in. This guy's really wounded. Wow, they had a big battle out there. Oh, there's something going on over here on the other side, too. We've got hungry bandits fighting dust bandits, it looks like. Alright, we got two prison cages done. I probably should get another engineer, to be honest. But... I really want to get our new recruits... Um, just getting them uh, more experience, more toughness and stuff. Alright, so we can put these guys in the cages. And uh, with the mod that... Uh, prisoner... Uh, recruiting prisoners mod... You can basically talk to these guys and eventually uh, convince them to join you. But they're in a recovery coma right now, so they're not going to be doing much of anything at this point. So we'll let them just hang tight in there. And I guess I could get... Yeah, let me get Crestfallen as an engineer. Because we need to get these towers going. Got to get these towers built as soon as possible. Let's see. Hold on. Do we have enough building materials? Yeah, we've got 19. I'm going to dismantle these camp beds and bring them closer to the uh, the front gate so that we can get our people healed up. And uh, then we're going to go raid this uh, group of bandits out here with our new recruits once we heal them. Yeah, I guess I'll just place them right here for now. We have a bandit raid headed uh, towards us. So, this will be fun. I want to see this in action now um, with our, our recruits. Uh, I've been kind of missing the battles because I've been working on trying to get these buildings built. So, we'll see this one firsthand. Let's get everybody healed up, though. I don't know what it is, but every time I load this game, it, it basically adds new rocks. <laughs> like... This rock wasn't here, this rock wasn't. Like, they just keep appearing. Like, eventually you're not going to have any room for anything. One thing I did do is install another mod called Slopeless, which allows you to build buildings, like, on the actual walls. So, if you take a look at, um, like, the bug house, like, we can build pretty much um, anywhere. Uh, you don't want to build, like, too far into a, like, a 
into a rock or a mountain, but you can do it. Um, and basically it just sets the max slope to 9,999. So uh, it basically changes the default settings for the slope. Okay, we've got the... Uh, oh, wait, who's this? White eyebrow. Oh, goodness gracious. These guys are... Wow, we haven't gotten attacked by these guys yet. Uh-oh. This might hurt. White eyebrow clan. All right, we got enough dudes out here to kick their ass. I hope. This is going to be fun. All right, let's make this quick and easy. Just hide somewhere and let us loot the place. Wow, these guys have 40-some attack. Uh-oh. Or die if you really want to. All right, men. Oh, look at Jude swinging, hitting everybody. Oh, this guy's flipping around. Oh, boy, our new recruits are going to be in trouble. Okay, we're going to need backup. Send in the send in the backup. Jeez. Oh, I'm getting crushed over here. Close the gates. Oh my goodness. Alright, Jude is still up. I'm still up. Okay, who's dying here? Glitch is dying. Forest. Uh let's see, hold on. Toxic. Aiden is fine right now. Let's see, okay, we gotta get to Glitch. I think he's critical. Oh wait, Cosgrove is uh Cosgrove is critical. Well, toxic. Okay, Cosro, where is he? Uh, Jesus. All right, Jeebus, get over here, man. Get to Cosro, or get to glitch. Damn it! I need more people, Ciros. Get to, uh, somebody. Kozrov. Is that 87 stomach? Okay, Jeebus, go to Kozrov. Gotta get that stomach healed. Crestfallen, get to Kozrov. Okay, hold on. Let's see who else is dying here. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Kozrov was the only critical one. There we go. We got Lithia out here. Damn. These guys kicked our ass. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but Crestfall did this like little spin move to get down to heal Aston. That was crazy. Healing people in style. <laughs> oh, don't let him get away. Kick this guy. Kill this guy. 138. Oh, wait. Come back. Wow. These guys are hella strong. And they carry 400 cats on them, too. Oh, they have chain shirts. Let's see. Where's the leader at? These guys would be good to capture, so we should probably capture a few of them. Right, that guy's way dying. Let's see. Let me get somebody that's not too critical. Here we go. First aid this guy. Wow. That was a battle right there. Even Randar took a beating. Well, good luck finding the boss in this group. There's different versions of them too. There's grunts and thugs. Oh, here's a war leader right here. Oh, he died. Oh, he's a hybrid. Let's first aid this guy. He's in a coma. Pick him up. Okay. We'll take him in. Okay, we need more prison cages. <laughs> Where's my engineers? Ciros. Get up here and build this cage. 
Awesome. Okay, we got two more cages. We can put some people in. We'll have to take their weapons away later. But for now, they can just hang out in there. Oh, we got one dude up. Dos Bandit Boss. Talk to. Scum sucker. <laughs> Free me and maybe I won't kill you. Oh my goodness. We get more people. Oh, we're going to have to leave our uh, animals out here for now. Until we get everybody healed up. Oh, nice hit, Watson. Oh, nice. Good job, Toasty and Coral. And we gotta start making some food. Everybody's starving. Again. Um, yeah. Once we have, we have these farms up to extra large now. And we should have, oh, we got plenty of water and everything. So let's see, Jeebus, how much uh, cactus do we have? 20 cactus only. Yeah, because we, we just got these completed. We do have some cactus on them. Ready to be harvested. Okay. And so is, uh, damn, we need more people, man. Because um, we just don't have enough to uh, to do everything in here. Like farming and building and all this other stuff. I'm going to put Watson on rescue duty. Or, yeah, rescue duty. Let's get people in beds. I think I have a couple more, actually, on... One of these. Oh, I have some extra armor too. Yeah, let me gotta get that. Holy shit! Oh my god, we're getting attacked by literally every hungry bandit there is in this game. Whoa! Oh my god, we gotta get these towers up, man. We need turrets. Okay. Uh. Man, that sucks. Okay, um... Damn, everybody's wounded too. Alright, we gotta get our new recruits inside here. This is... Yeah, um... Okay, we might have to leave the animals outside, see if they can do some damage. And then, once they break through... Alright, Drazzy, where's... Damn, Aldio's over here. Aldio, get out here. Everybody else, get inside. We're gonna have to leave the animals out and get, do some major damage. And then, uh, we'll come out to rescue them afterwards. Okay, try and do your worst here, guys. Oh my god, <laughs> Toasty and Coral. <laughs> Oh, man. Come on, Randar. Alright, we got a group over here trying to get down the gates. We've got Randar, Taylor, Drazzy, Toasty, and Coral just crushing them. Ooh, Randar's taking a beating. Oh, Taylor is too, but they got a lot of health. Oh, man, look at that area damage. Wow. Oh my god. Bone dogs are insane. They are insanely strong. I wonder if like you made an army of bone dogs. That would be crazy. I don't know. We might have to try that at some point. Maybe for some of the world bosses we'd be an army of bone dogs or something. That could be fun. Send them in. See how they do. Wow. Okay, we gotta heal them. Damn, too bad Aldio missed out on that battle. Yeah, we can't have our new recruits getting 
destroyed. I mean, every, look at everybody's uh, melee defense. All of that stuff is going up pretty good. Um, we could put them on the... I don't think we have the training things done yet. But... It's still good training. And we also... Our animals are hungry, so they also have stat penalties. Taylor's got like negative 27 stats. Let's talk to this dust bandit. Filthy, insignificant shithead. <laughs> Alright, I think we gotta unarm these dudes before we... Uh, before they do anything. Uh, oh crap, I need to put a weapons cabinet in here. There we go. I got three general chests in here now. I can put all their weapons in. There we go. So now if I talk to Dust, Dan Dan Dust Bandit boss, I think eventually you can uh, recruit him over time. You just got to keep talking to him. We've got a group of bandits over here, and I think they're probably one of the reasons why we keep getting attacked. we got more bandits up that way too, so... I think we're going to lead a little squad out to eliminate some of the bandits in the area. Um, let's go ahead and take all our new recruits. And uh, we'll just leave the animals here for now. Take everybody. We got everybody just walking really slow just because... Let's get everybody off the job. But just because they're overloaded. So they're going to need to gain their get their strength up anyway. Uh, let's see, yeah, we'll just leave all the animals outside for now. And we'll just close the gates. And they can protect the area. There we go. Alright. Let's go up here and see what's going on. I love this new, this bandit armor though. Look at this, Khosrow looks like a beast. He's got this viking helmet. It's so cool. And then uh, Forest. It's got some crazy armor too. We'll have to find... Uh, I think we can craft it too. We need to just like... Get more of the research done. Uh, that's going to be the next thing. Nice little camp of dust bandits over here. Man, really... Uh, ba building over here is awesome if you really want um, some bandit action. Um... It's a lot of fun, like, fighting lower-level enemies. Because <laughs> you can just, like, crush them. Usually. There you go, Kel. Work on that martial arts. Where's Toxic Iron at? Oh! Look at, look at Forrest rolling. We got some uh, crossbowmen up here. There you go, Toxic. Get some punches in. Jude going for the crossbowmen. Kel is limping. It's still in the fight. Aston is just crushing people. Guy. Oh, yeah, he's down. Well done, guys. Okay, so... Nobody went down. Oh, good. Nice. Glitch is the only one that took uh, the most damage, it seems like. We got another camp over here to the... Well, there was one over here to the north, or south. I'll take a look and see if we can find it. Oh yeah, somebody just set up shop over here. They got tents and everything. 
Okay, we got a ton of hill marauders. All right, guys, go for it. Take them out. Nice, Aiden. I gave, I gave Aiden a new weapon, so he's doing a little bit better with that. Watson's got that masterwork grade pickaxe. And I gave Forrest a, uh, a huge-ass cleaver. Oh, nice move, Aston. Got Kel. Oh, nice backflip, Kel. Holy. Don't really have the best boots for uh, martial arts, but it's okay. I'm all about survival right now. Nice, Jude. Oh my god. Jude is just crushing. What does she have? She's got some crazy weapon. A uh, disguised katana? It's a kakara. Wow. Uh, Aston is chasing this guy. Oh, 100 damage. He's not getting away. Oh, he's done. Down for the count. Pretty sure we just wiped this whole group out. And the cool thing is, is when you take out a camp, you can then rest in their beds. <laughs> it's like confiscate their their beds. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Okay, we're not over. We got more. Osrove isn't taking any damage, though. Oh, he's slow. he swings really slow, though. What's that weapon I gave him? I gave him an Odachi. Oh, but it's 21 kilograms. Okay, apparently I'm just gonna go charge the entire group. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, get in here. Uh-oh, we might be in trouble. Uh-oh. All right, Kel is down. Glitch is... Ah, oh, Glitch is going to be hurting. Okay, I don't think we can take all these guys. There's too many. Oh, we're down. Aston, lead them away. Give Aiden some time. All right, Aston. Here we go. Do your thing. Uh, okay, let's see. How how long am I down for? Ooh. All right. We got Aiden over here by himself, literally. Doing what he can. Let's take a look at our new recruits. Okay, nobody's hurting that bad except for Glitch. So, you got to get to Glitch. Uh-oh. Aiden might lose a limb. Aston is still up. Just stay down, guys. Stay down. Glitch is dying, so we gotta get to him ASAP. We gotta lead these guys away a little bit with Aston. Alright, come on. All right, Watson's getting back up. Jude is back up. All right, take this guy out quick. Get to glitch. Watson, get to glitch. There you go. All right, I'm getting back up. Let's just heal our people. Acid can handle it. Look at this. Acid has got the best armor. Like, he's got masterwork grade everything. He could just take, take those guys on. And then what? What's going on over here? We've got escaped servants now joining the fray. Okay, hold on a second, guys. You gotta heal our people first. 
Ah, damn it. Okay, hold on. Did we get, uh, did we get glitch? No. You gotta get glitch. Oh! Come on, take him out. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, Aston's down. Did we heal Glitch in time, though? I think we did. Uh, okay, Jude's back up. Just, just wait. Just wait a second. Let them do their thing. Okay. Let's get back up. Aiden is about to lose a limb if we don't heal him. Oh, buddy. You were lucky. Almost lost a limb right there. Alright, let's heal up here. Let's get forest. Who else are we missing? Toxic iron. Better get toxic iron because hivers, you know. Go medic. Oh wait, Jude. Oh, Jude's got knocked out again. Aiden, defend yourself. Oh, Jesus. Alright, Aston's getting back up here any second. Wow, there's so many bandits. So many of them. Everybody get up, if you can. Get up and heal. Okay, nice. I think we got everybody. Cosrobe is fine, Kel is fine. Okay, glitch is good. Aston. His defense must be 58. Wow. But Aston has literally masterwork grade everything. Like he's, uh, except for his uh, chainmail shirt and samurai helmet. Okay. Well, there's a good thing there's beds here so we can get everybody healed and get back to town. But I think this was a really good training session for everyone. Should probably get people in beds before the, uh, we get enslaved. Wow, that was a fun battle. That was, that was crazy. Okay. We got everybody in beds now, so let's get them healed up. And uh, we're going to head back to base. Alright, most of us are healed up. So, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, meanwhile, we're getting attacked over here at Dragon's Den. Looks like our animals are able to defend very good. Zeros has finished all of the prisoner cages. That's good. Nice. Oh, let's see. Our uh, white eyebrow grunts have woken up. White eyebrow grunt. Hey there, pal. I want to to hear about you. Tell me and I'll give you a, you a little sake, eh? Huh? Me? Yeah, what's your story? You want to know my story? Listen, I'm a ninja. Do you know what that means? You're a creepy, sneaky assassin? See, people don't choose to be a ninja. We were originally from the Empire, the lowest of the low. Burakumin. Do you know what that is? Means your father's father got on the wrong side of the law, and but now your family, nothing but low life scum, bottom feeders. We're scum with skills, talents. Well, scum is scum, but I suppose you could be useful. Want to join us? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. If that's what you think, then we have nothing to talk about, little boy. Talk to this guy. Oh, I can't talk to him. Please, I'll do anything. 
If I let you go, will you join our cause? Where's the food at? Yeah, you'll get some grub. We've got plans for you. What have you got? I'm a little short on food right now. Maybe tomorrow we'll have something for you. Oh, crap. I guess I need to have some food on my person to <laughs> to recruit him. Okay, well, we can, we can work on it. All right, our defense squad has made it back. Thank goodness. Oh my god, what? We're getting attacked again! This is insane. I'm getting more. I'm getting attacked more here than I was at Bloodhaven. Oh my goodness. Alright, guys, get in there. Aldio. Jeez. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> War comes out of it. Out of his slumber, and he's like, you're not getting away. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting away from war. That dude will chase you down. Getting constantly attacked out here, though. Won't be a problem once we get uh, some better armor and gear and stuff and get our recruits a little bit trained up. And, yeah, I guess I can leave the animals out here, too, to help with that. We've got Crestfallen loaded up with a ton of research books and whatever we have. Um, I don't think we went to Bloodhaven and got what we still have stored there, but um, we'll put these in the research bench for now. And we'll assign Crestfallen to research if there's anything that we can research. Might as well get started on that. Um, let's see, what do we have? Let's see, Wells 3, it's not really important right now. Hive Armor Tier 1. Oh, Hiver Notebooks. Okay, we do have a bunch of those. Let's go ahead and get that. Um, oh, we're re researching Tech Level 6. And I don't know what the hell that is. Research. We got a bunch of Hyber notebooks, though. Uh, let's see. Red Howler armor. We need Shrieking Tablets. We have a couple of those, but we're going to have to go back and fight those Shrieking Bandits if we want that. There's a ton of their Shrieking armor. Um, let's see. Okay, we could get Assassin training. Turret training. These are just regular research books. Here's advanced stat training. I guess we'll get all that. Advanced fight training. Um, I'm going to get large defensive walls uh, since it takes three engineering research and we have that. So let's go get the large defensive walls. And I guess I'll go for basic weapon grades, and uh, we'll get more basic weapon grades as much as we can. We'll go for Wells 3, just because. And that's pretty much it. So we've got a bunch of stuff to research here. That'll allow us to craft more stuff. We'll just get Crestfallen doing that for now. Really don't care who has skill and what at this point. Doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> as long as we have somebody doing something. Um, we get we're getting attacked by so many bandits like I haven't been able to really get anywhere it seems like uh, in this episode we just got non-stop attacked but we did get our prison built we did get um, you know some training with our new recruits let's just take a quick look here see what we got uh, forest uh, 17 melee defense nine attack oh strength is up to 10 let's see Cosrove is 15 toughness, 9 strength, 21 melee defense, so it looks like our new recruits are getting their melee up. Toxic Iron has been knocked out a lot, so his toughness is 15. Uh, martial Arts is 6 already, Dodge is 6. Kel the Sun, Martial Arts is 3, Dodge is 9 though. 13 toughness, okay. It's not bad. And then Glitch has got 18 melee defense, and 3 strength. Not bad, I mean... 
We're getting that toughness up. And uh, once we get the training dummies going, we'll be able to... Jesus, more attacks. Oh, Forrest has switched to a weapon. His left arm is hurting. He's got his backup weapon. Keep rolling, man. Jeez. Alright, glitch is down again. Oh, Kel. Watch out, Kel. Got Randar and Drazzy up there. Oh, I got knocked out again. Man, these guys are just constant attacks. We can't even rest up. Yeah, we got to get the towers up. We got to get some crossbow turrets. Uh, that's pretty much the next thing. I don't know why Ciros isn't doing anything. I think it's probably due to being like too far away from the um, too far away from the building supplies. So I have to like manually go over here and have him grab building materials, and then have him run back over here to place them. It seems like. Okay, we finally got one of our towers complete. Thank goodness. Um, so we'll be able to put some turrets up there and hopefully uh, prevent these guys from breaking down our gates all the time. And uh, we'll get some new walls up too once we get that research done. Well, I wanted to get more done in this episode, but uh, unfortunately these attacks are becoming quite a nuisance on us. But um, we're going to hopefully uh, maybe recruit some of our prisoners to get some more people so they'll be able to help out with uh, some of the chores around the the area and of course we're gonna have to lead an expedition out to get some more research books and stuff so we'll be getting that set up here probably very soon so hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you want to see more kenshi in the future don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys again in the next one take care